What would it be like if you never needed to maintain usernames or passwords on your own site? I'm Sarah Clark, and this is your introduction to Identity Federation using OAuth2. Imagine you have a service where users need to sign in. How can you make this as painless as possible? What if they're already signed in with someone you trust? Could you ask that other service to authenticate them? You can do this using Identity Federation. This is a way for users to sign up or sign in using an account hosted on a third-party website called the Identity Provider. In technical terms, it lets you replace identity verification on multiple services with a single federated service. Web developers can choose between multiple standards, including OpenID Connect and OAuth. Both of these have the exact same benefits. Users won't need a new password, and the identity provider handles any security challenges. When you use one of those services, you can also receive profile information from the provider. There are at least 40 identity providers worldwide. You're probably familiar with several of these OAuth providers. Of course, Google is an identity provider, and in this session, I'll show you how to add the Google Sign-In button to your site. Before we dive into the code, let me show you how Identity Federation works. First, your user asks to sign in to your application using a third party. Your app pops up or redirects to the third party's login page. At the same time, your app identifies itself to the third party service. This is important. There needs to be a trust relationship between the third party and your app, just as there is between the user and the third party. That chain of trust protects you, the third party, and the user. Your app then waits for confirmation that your user is logging in. The third party service requests the user's permission to share profile information. Once that's approved, your application can get the information and the user is logged in. Now that you know what the service does, let's see how to implement it. First, you'll need to get an application identifier from Google. This begins the trust relationship between Google and your site. Then you can add some meta tags to your sign-in page that includes that identifier and some sign-in options. You'll also load the sign-in with Google Library. One line of HTML is all you need to add the button, and a few lines of JavaScript will retrieve the user data. I've already registered a demo app. The first meta tag sets some options, and the second has my app identifier. Then I load the library using async and defer for a fast time to render. One line of HTML adds the button. Google's library looks for a specific CSS class and injects the button. Notice the attributes with a data prefix. These let you attach arbitrary data to a DOM node. In this case, we're adding the name of the success callback and the color theme to use for the button. We're calling our post sign in function on sign in. Our sign in function gets a Google user data structure. We can ask for the basic profile information and log it to the console. Notice that this profile includes a user ID. For security reasons, you should never send this copy of the ID back to your backend for identifying the user. This is a plain string, and a man in the middle attack could tamper with it. Instead, get an ID token is shown below the comment. ID tokens are cryptographically secure and can be verified by your server. And there we have it a federated login using Google. You can use any Identity Federation service that makes sense. This provides low sign-in friction for users and easy APIs. If you want to try this out for yourself, the OAuth Code Lab has a demo app called the Ducky Debugger. You can add Google Sign-In to this app. That's it for Identity Federation. It's straightforward and well understood by users. But what if you wanted an even easier way to log in, such as with a fingerprint? See the Google I.O. 2018 sessions for presentations on the Web Authentication API. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.